Today we're going to do Death of Hawkman, issue number 5 from DC Comics with a lot of creators. And we have a cover with strong female characters. That was sarcasm, by the way. Um, yeah, every time I open a new con new episode, new new um, Death of Hawkman comic, let's, let's say that, I'm getting disappointed because the first thing I'm going to see is the soy face of Adam Strange with his stupid jokes. And the same here, because this is in the now, and remember that. So, he says, this sort of tickles. I'm going to be, am I going to be having able to have kids after this, right? Um, so, this Green Lantern says, um, humans, everything is a joke to them. And I agree with that, because the jokes are horrible. So, first of all, uh, maybe long-time readers know that... Uh, uh, this guy is writing Zeta beams all across the universe. And now he cries about, oh no, I, 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 don't, can, I can't have kids anymore because, I don't know, Green Lantern power is holding me in stasis. Which, you know, has nothing to do with, you know, not getting kids. Because that's not how Green Lantern powers work. You know what else is not how Green Lantern powers work? Uh, I saw, hey, wait a minute, this is not a costume, right? And... Um, how is that possible? Well, because it seems that the Green Lantern can change uh, a person's costume, including colors. I don't think that's how the powers work. I mean, you can do a construct, right? You know, and changing your 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 attire. Is that how you say attire? Uh, your your jacket, your pants. You know, you can make constructs of that, but you cannot change somebody's colors. That's not how Green Lantern. It's a green lantern, not color lantern. Jesus Christ, it's just so stupid. Anyway, um, so um, Kral here, I mean, um, he's, uh, he's helping Hawkman. He says, hey, you're bleeding. Uh, it's nothing. Um, so, but then um, Green Lantern uh, says, uh, gets a message that uh, Despero or Despero, I'm not sure how you say it, but let's say Despero is here. And Despero is all juiced up. And he's attacking, but he's way too strong and, I don't know, incinerating uh, the Green Lantern while our heroes are running away like cowards. I mean, that's so unlikely of um, Hawkman because Hawkman is a pretty aggressive guy, right? He's just mostly jumping into action. But no, he's running away like a bitch. Um, so, yeah, that's out of character. Um, maybe because he's realizing that he's wounded, but that's... Still not, it's just weird. Uh, anyway, so we are in space in, well, you know, in the past. And they are entering uh, Phanagarian space, I guess, because Despero just blew up a, a moon. And now all the debris is now raining on this planet, right? And um, so, and then a green flash. And then, oh no, we have the green lanterns uh, entering space, you know, including this guy that's been incinerated, right? <laughs> It's just okay. Um, and he says, hey, you're fugitives. What are you doing here? Uh, you need to get away immediately. So they are, you know, talking about the plan of the Sparrow. And then, you know, they are being duped and, and a lot of stuff. And he says, uh, so Green Lantern says, hey, no, we're going to handle this. You need to get out of here, right? But um, Hawkman is, is just sputtering. And he's, uh, Green Lantern says, I know your pain. It's my planet as well. But the corpse has been sent here as human humanitarian humanitarian aid. Our hands are full enough with that. We don't. We do not need a war. Just go. All right. And then uh, we never saw you. So just just going away. Of course they're not going to listen. All right. And then uh, we go to um, Ron because uh, Ray Swap Talana wants to eradicate all of Phanagarians because well um, she wants to kill them all. And 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 one of the council members says, "Hey, listen. Do not over, not to overstep Alana." But do you think it's the right time? The Panagaris has suffered a horrible tragedy with million potentially killed in an instant. And then she's hesitating and says, No! We must show them the mercy they showed us. None. And uh, at this point, I uh, it confirms my suspicions that uh, Despero is controlling her. Or Despero is controlling her, right? And so these guys says something. Despero doesn't like that. Kills them. It's just, I don't know. Doesn't matter at all. It's not really important to the plot. And uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, Adam Strange with a stupid joke says, 
Come on, honey, answer the phone. So he's making contact with Grace Swap Delana. And he says, hey, are you, are you turning yourself in? Because they're fugitives, right? And he says, no, but I bring down the real bad guy here. And um, so she says, hey, fire at will to these guys. And they are. And Anne of Strange says, damn, she really did it. Yeah, of course she did it. And uh, But then uh, Hartman says, well, that's, it's the sparrow. That's his power. So, okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, I know that Despero is controlling Alana and probably other people. Uh, how do you know? I mean, it's just an assumption that race swapped Alana is controlled. How do you know she's not that person, right? Uh, okay, plot armor, I guess. Uh, anyway, so they are firing at will. Uh, rockets are coming. They're jumping out. And um, yeah, um, what's with the what's with the cost? Okay. Moving on. Looks cool. I mean, the art looks great. I mean, that's not the problem with the book that I have. It's the writing. The writing is shit. Um, so they are um, safe. And he says, oh, that was fun. Let's never do that again. So Hartman says, are you prepared for what's to come? And he's changing back to his costume. What? What? Can you do that? Does he think about it? Did he press a button? Did he... Did he un, un, put some clothes? I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um, the superheroes beat the bad guy and save the universe. The usual, right? There's nothing usual about this. Steal yourself. So, um, yeah. Despero uh, sees that, right? And then he's using his mental powers to, uh, I don't know, take over people's minds, right? And uh, preparing an army for what's to come, I guess. Um that's all cool and dandy. But then when they are entering, I don't know, the streets, uh, all of the people are, uh, you know, finding it with sticks and stones and knives and, and weapons. And and uh, so um, Alana says, hey, we need to clean the, uh, sweep the, the, the streets and kill them all, right? And he's amused, being amused, right? That he has all the power, all that stuff. Well, uh, Hawkman and... Um, um, this guy, <laughs> I'm just blanking, uh, Adam Strange, uh, you know, tried to escape, fighting and all that stuff. And then planes coming, right? And and, and shooting rockets at them. And it looks all, all fine and then they are fleeing, right? Um, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's just a positive thing. But then um, it's, it seems that they are going so overboard that they are uh, destroying the city just to get them. But then Adam Strange... <laughs> Modern writers, man. Adam Strange says, I say the only place we're going is to hell, but I think we're already there. And he closes his eyes because he's a wimp. <laughs> what, a, what a loser. Uh, <laughs> but then, oh no, uh, we go back to the now because, you know, the Green Lantern is dead. And now I thought, okay, this hot man, right? What? What the hell? Because... This, it couldn't be Hawkman because Hawkman is way too aggressive. So I think more Red Lantern style, but it's not. Um, it's not Qatar Hall. It's it's the other one, Rain Crawl. So he's turning into a Green Lantern, which is surprising to me a little bit. Uh, more plot armor, by the way, because how many times did we see Crawl in this comic book? I don't know, two times per book or something. We barely know anything of it uh, of him. Uh, only we only know that he's helping, so it's very pretty convenient that he's been chosen to be fearless, right? I haven't seen that part of him because the book never told me. Just that, oh no, we need a Green Lantern, and here it is. Okay, <laughs> right. So he says, "Hey, how can it be? Um, this is not who I am. I don't get this, right?" And so Hartman says, "Well, you better figure it out." And um, then. Strange get a get a message from um, Victor, you know, from the Teen Titans, and he quickly says the explaining the part of that Despero is, you know, invading and we need help and all that stuff. And then I don't know, uh, Vic is just really saying some weird stuff. He says, "Oh, that sounds great. How is Alana doing? Give her a hug for me." And he says, "Uh huh. What do you did you hear what I said? Despero, mega powered invader." And yeah, it seems that um, Despero powers has reached Earth. Although they are light years away. So, and 
I thought, how is how does that work? Because he, his mental powers are not that strong. But now that probably he's super uh, desperate now, he can do that, right? And it also has been said here. Um, more plot armor. Um, all right. So more stuff is going on because uh, jokes that I'm going to ignore. Um, and then lava is is coming out of the ground. And then suddenly the end metal is turning Hawkman against him. I didn't know how that worked because I thought that end metal is more like, I don't know, metal and not something that is going to hurt you from the inside. Um, but it seems that's the case because the end of the book is that Despero is here and he's controlling the end metal. And I don't know, Hawkman is now exploding uh, because blood is pouring from all his you know, pores or veins, I'm not sure, but something has happened to him. Um, how, how does that work, right? Is this, I mean, can Ant Metal make you sick somehow? I don't know. I, I, I think it's all too convenient. I don't think that's how it works, but, you know, who am I? I'm just a comic reader. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reviewing comics. What do I know, you know? I'm just a long-time reader. But, you know, I could be wrong, right, that Ant Metal has some kind of a properties that's been in check I mean, my knowledge of the end metal is pretty limited, but I think it's still all BS, and this is just more plot armor from the writer. <laughs> so, um, and oh, oh, by the way, this is more a little bit more serious in tone, which I like. So, isn't it strange, right? No pun intended, that um, when you remove the cringy Marvel humor in a DC comic, that the book is automatically getting better. Oh my god! Uh, but still, shit, in my opinion. So it's slightly better. Still shit, and that's no. It's gonna be my title, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like the video. See you next time. Uh, bye bye.